In 1998, Suzuki gave birth to a legend, the original Hayabusa. Some 23 years later, the next and third generation of this icon is on our doorstep. In 2021, what awaits us with Suzuki's latest incarnation of this living legend? Let's find out. Now, I've never owned a Hayabusa, but I have owned one of its era challenges, the BMW K1300S. So I know what it's like to own and ride an inline 1300cc four-cylinder motorcycle producing 170 horsepower. All I can say is, it's monumentally impressive. So I'm really keen to see what's next for the new Hayabusa. There's a lot to unpack from Suzuki's very thorough release and presentation, so I'm just going to condense this video to the highlights and standout features. The very first thing that struck me was the faces of these engineers. In these men, I see a sense of pride, reverence and respect for the project they've been tasked with. You can see this bike has been meticulously attended to. After all, this is not just a model update. This is the remaking of a legend. It's pleasing to see these engineers totally invested in making this project a reality. From the clay modelling backed up by wind tunnel testing to ensure one of the lowest drag coefficients of any bike on the market today to the side vents that are not just for show. They actually function to draw wind and, I predict, heat away from the rider's legs. Even the aerodynamically designed wing mirrors are designed to aid the Hayabusa in its goal of a 299 km per hour nominal top speed. Designed to reduce fatigue, enhance comfort and increase bike control, the handlebars are now 12 mm or half an inch closer to the rider and alleviate that stretched out riding position of previous models. Improved KYB suspension provides for increased high speed stability and agility at low speeds. New Bridgestone Hypersport tyres supplying increased grip and durability designed exclusively to handle the impressive performance figures of the new Hayabusa. Brembo Stylema front brake calipers also make an appearance, gripping larger diameter 320mm floating discs, all to accomplish greater braking power and feel. MotoGP-inspired drilled front brake and clutch levers for increased high-speed performance, a new vertically stacked LED projector headlight ensures superior illumination, and a newly designed tail assembly reflects the Hayabusa's iconic styling, and the front-fed LED running light cleverly double duties as a turn signal. Fitted standard, the smooth up-and-down quickshifter has two modes. Mode 1 reacts more quickly for race-style riding, and Mode 2 offers a lighter touch. The integrated IMU provides 10 levels of traction control, 3 modes for power delivery, 10 levels of anti-wheelie control, 3 modes of launch control, 3 modes for engine braking, a license-preserving speed limiter is now standard, as is cruise control. Other notable features include an anti-rear-wheel lift control system ensures attitude control under hard braking, a hill hold control system, and an emergency stop flashing rear light signal. With improved engine lubrication due to changes to the crankshaft oil passages, optimised pistons and connecting rods, and rigorous frame and chassis torture testing, for 2021, Suzuki have also further boosted the durability of the already bulletproof Hayabusa. The new 1340cc 16-valve inline-four engine has improved combustion efficiency and a 1mm reduction in the throttle body inner diameter coupled with a 12mm lengthening of the intake pipe increases the 2021 engine's power and torque throughout the low to mid-speed range. A new dual-injector design forms a finer mist contributing to increased power and torque and helps to achieve the maximum power figure of 140 kilowatts at 9,700 RPM, and a maximum torque figure of 150 newton meters at 7,000 RPM. Three catalytic converters and a second O2 sensor combine to satisfy Euro 5 emission standards. 
The lighter weight of the new exhaust also helps to achieve a 50-50 weight balance front to rear. And the new lighter clutch lever operation from the assist slipper clutch provides smoother shifting and engine response during engine braking and corner entry. Now, as is the tradition around here, here's how my 6 foot 1 frame fits aboard the new 2021 Hayabusa. For me, the three takeaways for the new 2021 Hayabusa are smoother power delivery, nimbler handling, and a slew of state-of-the-art electronics making the whole package more predictable and controllable. With the power and handling under control, has Suzuki nailed the styling? For me, that's a big yes. It's contemporary, says Suzuki, and shouts Hayabusa. Another big draw card for me on any motorcycle is the cockpit. After all, that's what's in your face the whole time you're riding, and in the case of the Hayabusa, Suzuki have nailed it. I could spend days staring at those dials, and that excellent instrument cluster also houses a centrally located TFT display relating all sorts of info, from currently selected modes to data collected from the IMU. Well, that's it. What do you think? Are Suzuki onto a winner with the new 2021 Hayabusa? Let me know in the comments below. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.